Lobbyists aren't bad people. Special interest groups are not bad people. But guess what? They're corrosive. People who accept the money from them aren't bad people. But it's human nature. You go out, Lynn, and bundle $250,000 for me, all legal, and then you call me after I'm elected and say, Joe, I'd like to come and talk to you about something. <laughs> you didn't buy me, but it's human nature. You helped me. I'm going to say, sure, Lynn, come on in. I would agree that, that your service in the Senate up to this point has, has not reflected any particular concern for the larger contributors. Well, the fortunate thing is I didn't have many larger contributors, and the only reason, see, I went to the big guys for the money. I was ready to prostitute myself in the, man, in the manner in which I talk about it. But what happened was they said, come back when you're 40, son. But I am not running for vice president. I would, uh, I would not accept it if anyone offered it to me. And the fact of the matter is I would much prefer to stay as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee than vice president. Will you ever run for political office again? No, no. I'm told I get criticized by the new left. I have the most progressive record of anybody running for the United States, anybody who would run. And so the younger generation now tells me how tough things are. Give me a break. <laughs> no, no. I have no empathy for it. Give me a break. Look, John's last minute economic plan does nothing to tackle the number one job facing the middle class. And it happens to be, as Barack says, a three letter word jobs. J O B S. Jobs. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook. Stand up, Chuck. Let him see you. Oh, God love you. What am I talking about? I tell you what, you're making everybody else stand up, though, pal. Thank you very, very much. I tell you what, stand up for Chuck. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. To fully, I'm not joking. First of all, I actually like Dick Cheney for real. I, I get on with him. I think he's a decent man. That was near the end of the Biden for president campaign when reporters were starting to uncover, you know, accusations of plagiarism, both in his campaign speeches and in his coursework in law school, uh, misrepresentations about his grades, et cetera. And there you see Biden, you know, full of bluster when one person in, in the kitchen or wherever in New Hampshire said, you know, didn't you inflate your grades? Biden lost it and started uh, berating the man in a way that could only make him look uh, like a bully and like a blowhard. And the other question oh, is, man. could you quickly, I, I think we I, I, think I probably Reagan. have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect, <laughs> and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Senator, Frank. Not... Senator Biden, words have in the past gotten you in trouble, words that were borrowed and words that some found hateful. An editorial in the Los Angeles Times said, in addition to his uncontrolled verbosity, Biden is a gaff machine. Can you reassure your voters in this country that you would have the discipline you would need on the world stage, Senator? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Biden.